Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 action war film Wolfhound, a film that is co-written and directed by Michael B. Chait, and it stars James Maslow, Trevor Donovan, John Turk, Michael Wayne Foster, and John Wells. Now, the film follows, uh, at the beginning, there is like a group of American pilots in the air, uh, and they are then confronted by what they think are Spitfires, um, like, you know, British um, Spitfires. So they, they kind of ease down. As, as it turns out, it's a trap, and they are attacked by German pilots um, disguised as Spitfires. Ultimately, this leads to many deaths and certainly... Um, crashing all that kind of stuff and there is one soldier in particular who parachutes out uh, played by james maslow um lands on the ground and it's up to him then to rescue the rest of his crew who have survived and have been taken captive by the local um, germans right what are my thoughts on wolf hound um well it's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to start off with a positive here with this film. I think the, the the positives here with this film is the polish of the film. It's actually got quite quite good solid production values behind it. The film starts off very very strongly in regards to the dogfight in the sky. Uh, I didn't know much about this film. I'd not seen any trailers or anything. I thought. Much of the film was going to be based in the sky, a bit like Memphis Bell all them years ago. I think it, I thought it was going to be a film a little bit like that. Um, but no, it was about 10 or 15 minutes of that at the beginning. And then the kind of, you know, they get attacked by the Spitfires. Um, and then it, it's um, chaos and crash landings and all this kind of stuff. And from that point on, I thought the film kind of took a turn for the worse. Um, it kind of then became... Um, a tired stereotype of a war film um, and it lost I lost an awful lot of interest for the most part then because once they get on the ground it kind of becomes like a one man mission with this American you know pilot who's who's um, on his own trying to figure out how he can get his comrades back that have been taken prisoner by these, these German soldiers um, so it's kind of him going up against them really almost Rambo like to a large degree but it's just not very engaging and not particularly watchable and, and not particularly enjoyable. And that's mainly because it's the film is full of completely forgettable characters. Even the guy who's on his own going Rambo, trying to get his mates back, is... I couldn't even really tell you his name, um, the character. And, you know, he just wasn't particularly... Uh, relatable or likable as were pretty much every other character in the film the american soldiers uh, there's a couple of british and i think there's a french freedom fighter and all that kind of they're all really forgettable none of them are fleshed out in any real way um so therefore you don't really care and the german antagonists in this film oh boy they are so stereotyped uh, with really dodgy german accents i couldn't take them seriously they were like you know i've got a really strong jawline so and blonde hair so therefore i am a german sort of thing it, it just felt really um cringy in regards to how the german soldiers were portrayed in this film now i don't expect german soldiers to be portrayed overly realistically or even portrayed in any way um, heroically or anything like that but the way they're portrayed in this film it's just like you know they're either killers murderers or rapists sort of thing and you know like we all know the nazi party were <laughs> pretty shockingly awful but it just didn't feel balanced at all in this it was just like i would imagine if this film was shown in berlin or something like that or somebody watched it on a streaming service in berlin they'd just be face palming all the way through it because it's just cringy and that's just how i felt watching it in regards to how the germans were portrayed i think these days we expect a little bit more realism a little bit more of a grounded approach yeah you could put your you know your your big special effects in it and your fights and your explosions that's great but make your characters grounded and believable please 
because immediately, certainly these days, audiences check out, and I certainly checked out with a lot of these characters. Um, and it's supposedly based on real life events as well. This film, how accurate that is, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's probably a very vague um, connection to you know some kind of real life event in some way, but I suspect it is really, really, very, very vague. And the film just felt old fashioned. You know what I mean? It felt like it was a film that would have been made in the 70s and the 80, early 80s sort of thing. It doesn't feel like it stands up in for a t an audience of today. So if you're a big fan of war films in general, there might be here uh, a film for you to enjoy in the most part. You know, if you don't mind this, the, the old fashioned approach, the uh, stereotypical approach, um, the, the tired tropes that you see all the time in these type of war films, then the, 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 there's a film here that you might enjoy because, like I say, the best thing about this film easily are the production values and the, the gunfights, the explosions, and especially the dogfights are easily the best thing in the film. The rest of it, if they'd have put a little bit more time and effort into the, the script and the characters, I think they would have had a much, much better film on their hands. Now, I think the score that I'm seeing for this that is getting on IMDb, it's giving it like a 3 out of 10 sort of thing. I think last time I checked it was. That's a bit harsh, if I'm honest. But I think it does reflect maybe the kind of criticisms that I'm giving it. Audiences are just not responding to these characters in this film. They're so poorly written. But overall, I think a fairer score for this film is probably a 5 out of 10. It's just bang average. It's watchable, but don't be expecting anything particularly special. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.